Hello everyone, good day to you, classmates and Professor uh, Furman. This is my first video blog. This is regarding our assignment, uh, regarding what we think of when we hear the urban environment words. And basically for me, what I think of right away, what comes to mind is the big cities, the tall buildings, the chaos, the crowds, you know, people going from work, going to work, coming from work, just uh, the crowds everywhere, and public transportation, a lot of buses, trains, and et cetera. You know, cities like, uh, well, we can start here with downtown Dallas, our downtown Dallas, cities like New York, cities like D.C., Washington, D.C., which is actually, we were actually there uh, last year, me and my wife, for our anniversary, and that that's exactly what I would think of uh, as an urban environment. That's what came to my mind when I think about that. We were there, and, you know, usually anytime we go on vacation, anywhere we go, we rent a car. But this time, after doing the research that I did, we came to the conclusion that renting a car was not the best option. It was actually not a good option at all because we were going to have trouble not just uh, with, with paying for parking, but just the, the fact of finding parking would probably be tough. So we didn't rent a car or anything. We just went, everything... We did, we used public transportation. We actually flew to Baltimore, Maryland, and then from there we took the train. Uh, the train left us at Union Station in D.C. From D.C., as soon as we got off the train, there was the metro right there. Metro took us right to our hotel. We got off as soon as we came up those big stairs. Our hotel was right there. And then from there, anything we needed to do, the monuments, you know, anything we needed to go to the stores, shopping, you know, drugstores, anything was close by. We could either hop on a dollar bus and it would take us there, or we could take the train, you know, or the metro. They they had a lot of bikes too. You can rent a bike and you know you can get around in bikes. So big crowds everywhere at night, during the day, uh, especially in the mornings when you get on the metro, you see all kinds of people, you know, going to work, and and you see everything. I mean. I thought that public transportation was for for the lower income classes, but you saw all kinds of people there. You saw all kinds of diversity within classes and, and races, all using public transportation as their primary source of transportation. So that's exactly what I thought of um, when I think of, of an urban environment. And one of the things that I saw down there as well that I see here in our downtown Dallas or environment that I think is is um, it's something that is hidden or an important aspect that could be highlighted is the fact that there's a lot of homeless people within those areas and I think I think it is hidden because uh, people overlook him people overlook that that situation that we that we are facing and people are just too concentrated in, in getting from point A to point B and doing what they have to do and don't really don't really see that that there's a lot of homelessness homelessness within within uh, those environments so that is what I think of uh, when I hear urban environment and uh, the important aspect uh, that's hidden or highlighted I would think it's the point of homelessness I see that within these, these, uh, these cities. Thank you.